Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power of Double X. Hey, 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 my name is Davis and I'm from Haiti, but I'm living in Dominican Republic. I'm here, Prozive Power 21, Jerry Walsh Live, worldwide. All right, what's going on, family? What's up? What's up? Welcome, welcome to Late Night with Jervis Live Worldwide, a.k.a. the Batman of Charm City and the beautiful Kelly Holland, right here on Positive Power, right, Double XI, Christian Media. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We hope you had a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Shout out to everybody hanging out in Miami. I know a lot of people from Baltimore went on down to Miami. Get ready for the, the Super Bowl. If you watch the NFL Network, He's showing all the festivities. Everybody seems to be having a really, really good time. The weather's great. And they're also going to be pulling some of that great music here. That's right. A lot of that warm weather is going to be pushing in the Baltimore area this week, weekend, up next week. So it's going to be in the 60s, believe it or not. So tune in, y'all. If you're not hanging out, enjoying the weather, let's tune in right here. That's right. Spreaker Radio, Facebook Live. You can catch us later on on Spotify, iHeart, iTunes. Cast box and a few others and YouTube. That's right, we're on YouTube live right now. So first, going out to YouTube and look for music vision television right here. The journey is live worldwide in the positive power family. All right, let's see what the beautiful Kelly Holland got going on in her neck of the woods. What's up, Kelly Holland? What's up? What's up? Hey, 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 Batman. Hey, hey, Baltimore. Hey, how you feeling? All is well on my side. I'm a little under the weather, but the body is able. So here I am. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Well, we hope you feel better. Amen. I know there's a lot of stuff going around. I know we got a couple of coworkers been missing in action all week, and uh, people been, and it's been healthy people have been getting the flu too, you know. So that's kind of scary when you see your healthy coworkers. Well, at least they look healthy, <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know what? They, uh, they got fooled into that free food. Flu shot. That's what it was. <laughs> so, well, I just got uh, mine. We usually don't do it. Do you do it? <laughs> do you I, get the shot? I have to. When you, yeah, when you label diabetic, you have to get it because um, the flu can take you out. Mm. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know it's funny because um um I I, I just got it um this past week um I went Sunday and um okay. it was a, it was a bunch of people were up in there really sick and I you could you can kind of hear the doctor talking to them. You know, at least in the next room, I can hear his conversation um, because they had a little carousel thing with flows through. You can hear sound. So he was talking to this guy. He said, yeah, man. He said, next time. He said, you better get the flu shot next time. He said, you know, the guy was messed up, man. He's pretty. I was, I was surprised he was in urgent care. You know, that was, you know, he was hanging out at urgent care. He should have been in the hospital. <laughs> you know, but. Oh, wow. Yeah. So um, I well, guess the doctors know. Yeah. Doctors, I guess they know, you know. Well, maybe our. Maybe our guest can, tonight, she can give us some tips on how we can uh, be free from needing those types of medicines. So, yeah, and I'm, I'm looking forward to what she has to offer. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to talking to to uh, Ms. Braxton too because um, I, I've been a fan of sea moss. I actually ordered some. Um, but my, my, my distributor, he never gave it to me. I see him like at least once a week and it, I just I haven't gotten it from him yet. And I, and I had put this order in like, um, I think right after Christmas. <laughs> I haven't gotten it from him yet. So, um, cause I was really wow. sick and I was looking into sea moss. Um, cause I, I just, for some reason I came back from taking my daughter back to school. I just didn't overcome that trip. I don't know what happened, what I had eaten. Cause I know we did eat some, some, um, chicken, uh, Caesar wraps or something. And, and my wife had gotten right. one that was jerk chicken and she really didn't like it, you know, so I ate it and I'm, mm-hmm. I'm not sure if it did something to me, but I just, it took me a week to get myself and I couldn't I couldn't find that energy. Uh, right. No creativity. No, no. I ain't feel like doing nothing but just laying around and watch <laughs> football. You know. And I did that for like two, three oh, the whole weekend and man. and then I think I took two more days or something like that. Yeah. So anyway, I <laughs> I did move into another um um product which was an old fan of mine years ago. 
but they didn't the process okay. wasn't like it is now like when i ordered i'm not i'm not sure if you're familiar with bee pollen you know you got the honey you got bee pollen you got uh the honeycombs right. and, and i hear a lot of good things about the honeycombs too but i used to take the chewables bee pollen and it tastes like carob mm-hmm. You know, some people can handle the taste, some people okay. can't. And um, that was the only form I can remember was the chewables. But then, you know, this was, I used to use this when I was back in my, my 20s. Yeah, my 20s, I think, because I was running around a lot. Uh-oh. So what happened was I, I looked it up on the, on the Internet, and um, it was a lot of people was talking a lot about it on YouTube. All the benefit is it has all the vitamins and minerals that the body needs because the bees make it. Is they chew it up and, and feed it to their lava, and what happens is it's, it's just pollen from the plants, and and they and it, and it becomes what they call a bread, and it comes and then they form into a little bead. So that's what you get, and I think it's like a little silicon over the surrounding the uh, the bread, and um, and it's like a, they call it granulate form. So it's like like kind of look like granola a little bit. And it's crunchy. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's little, real small little pellets. Mm-hmm. And um, you can put in your smoothies or, you know, sprinkle it on your salad. And it's supposed to have like 40 grams of protein. That's like almost the highest form of protein that you could buy because I think um, Insure only goes up to 35 grams, the, the super protein one. And then I think um, some of your protein shakes only go up to 32 so, uh, you know, and it's supposed yeah. to be great for muscle building and builds your immune system and has antioxidants in it and all that great stuff. So I'm five days on it and, and I've been feeling pretty good. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to ride it out for a little bit. See how I'm it go. Down. Well, anyway, you I'm ready to talk down. to our guest, Ms. Braxton? You ready to talk to her? I can't wait. I can't wait. We've, we're already into these health conversations types of talk bring her on the line let's yeah, get yeah, the expert's it. opinion let's see what she has to say and, and before we bring her on i just want to give a shout out to, to sheree good sheree was here last night on um um live um jazz experience and she was talking about you know people mm-hmm. taking care of their hearts you know she got a son that, right. that there's a real speedy guy run track for morgan play football and everything and she was talking a lot about the cardiovascular people so she but she's going to have an event coming up so we're going to talk a little bit about that um probably when we, next week when we close the show because that's coming up i think on february 8th in baltimore for those who are okay. interested in it all right so let's bring miss braxton out miss braxton can you, oh didn't nothing like hold a second I don't know what's been going on with this mute button. This thing has been tripping out. I might have to, Ms. Bryce, if you hear me, if you hear me, hit hit pound five. I think pound five will let you out. So let's see what happens if she hit pound five. That's okay. See, it's a blessing when you have so much technology. You can just have yeah. options. It's funny. Either it way, it lets you out. Is going to work. And it's funny because it's been doing this a couple of days this week, too. And... I had I, mm-hmm. normally I have a, another browser open, so I tell you what, let me, let's take a music break real quick, and I'll try to get her out okay. of uh, the mute button. Okay, all right, let's take a music break. All right, here we go.
All right, there we go. I got her out of there. So, Miss Braxton, welcome to Positive Power Late Night. And apologies with the meat button. I don't know what's going on with that thing. So, how you feeling? Is anybody there? Hey, 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 Miss Braxton. Yeah. Can, can you-, you hear us? Can the people of Baltimore hear us? Can the lovely people beyond hear us? We are definitely here in this place. The technology is going to work out. Out. Everything is going to come together. And until we get this figured out, I just want to say thank you for joining us this evening. Thank you for being loyal listeners. And thank you for always listening in on Positive Power, Double X Side with Batman and co host podcaster me, Kelly Holland. You can reach me at my website, kelly com for any services. You can always reach Batman on Facebook Live. You can reach me on Facebook as well, Kelly Holland, and you can always meet our guest, Miss Kaya Braxton, at Crown Moss. Uh, you can find her on Instagram under Crown Moss. That's Crown with a K, spell K R O W N Moss M O S S. Kaya is an entrepreneur, my good friend, and yes, Braxton, family member of the famous Braxtons. But that's not what we're here to talk about this evening this evening we're going to talk about how miss kaya became the entrepreneur that she is how she transitioned from chef of the baltimore orioles of the baltimore ravens and of college campuses abroad and near how she was a chef and then transitioned those chef experiences into being a a businesswoman an entrepreneur a distributor of essential vitamins. Why did she choose this route? I can't wait to have that discussion with her. Why did she want to come on this show? Because everybody needs to know how wonderful it is to have vitamins that aren't necessarily mandated by Big Pharma, to have holistic treatments, to treat your body well, to love yourself, and to ultimately tap back into your unspeakable joy. Yep, I plugged it. You gotta love me. All right, let's see if she in. Man, how we doing? All right, she's back. So I told her dial back in. Miss Ms. Braxton, are you back? Can you hear us? Uh, you back? Great evening. Can you hear me? <laughs> awesome. <evening>. Welcome. <laughs> welcome. Welcome. Hey. I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah. I just yelled for joy. Yep. That's right. That was it. Well, I just want to say hi. <laughs> and um, Kelly, if you have any I'm time left. Batman. How yeah, Batman is fine. I, and I do have a couple of questions for you when Kelly's done. She leave me a little time. I'd love to know. talk to you, okay? All okay. right. And we got to have you by the studio, it's too. I realize you're from, you from the Baltimore area, so we got to have you by, by here, okay? Amen. Yes. Have her come to the studio, yeah. do a live taping. Oh, that'll be fine. Oh, yeah. We got a lot. That's right. And for those that are interested... Um, April 25th, we're going to be in Chesapeake, ch- by the Chesapeake Bay at Graysonville, Maryland, at the Graysonville Community Center, taping the Lakeisha Mosey Show. And then on May 2nd and 3rd, for two days, Paula G. going to be in town. She's going to be traveling 95 north, coming to Maryland. So if you're interested, we have an event right page up real soon. There's one up right now for Lakeisha Mosey Show. Just look for television taping uh, on our Facebook page. All right. Have a great show, ladies. My sister, thank you. Thank, Tom, you. thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome, Kaya. Welcome to Positive Power Double X Five with Jerry Royce and Batman. That's that's my friend right there. And your co host podcast with me, Kelly Holland. We're glad to have you this evening, lady lady. How are you? Thanks for having me. I'm well. Thank you. How about yourself? Doing good, doing good. And, and you know, I just had to put the spirit over this whole little situation going on, try and keep you off the phone you know i just had to run up on it like look here you know i'm represented by some high power get her on the phone and then it happened because i know folks no i'm just joking but (laughs) thank you for being with (laughs) us this evening (laughs) but tell the listeners miss kaya braxton tell the listeners yes you are of the family but we're not here to speak on that we're here to talk about you we're here to talk about your business and how you transition from chef to entrepreneur please share with the beautiful people your lovely story oh thank you um so let's just i guess i'm going to start with kind of my journey um my journey was 
more of when uh, just kind of asking God what my next step in my life was because mm -hmm. my job of 18 years, we lost the contract and they wanted to relocate me to a different state, me being a mother of two. Um, I just can't just relocate at the drop of a dime and uproot my kids. Um, mm -hmm. Just, you know, I just thought about that. Um, so, you know, I asked, you know, God what I should do. And I kind of prayed about it. So I did a fast. Um, it was supposed to be a seven day fast that wound up actually being six days. But um, I that's when I was kind of introduced to CMOS because I didn't, in fasting, I didn't want to lose my nutritional value. So I still wanted to mm -hmm. fast and still be healthy. So I did a CMOS challenge for myself. And that kind of just turned into a business because once people saw the results of that, then it just, you know, blessed me with what I do now. Um, so to go into what CMOS actually is, a lot of people that don't know, CMOS is a seaweed that comes from the Caribbean, the islands, which, which is grown in. But the wait beautiful thing about- Wait a minute, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. You mean to tell me that lovely stuff that you are putting in the jar is seaweed? Is yeah. is it the same seaweed they, they do with sushi that they wrap around sushi? Is it the same? Is there different no, seaweeds? No, it's different, different, different. Um, people okay. don't know that there's different seaweeds, but seaweed is very, very healthy for the body. Different seaweeds do okay. different things. Um, of course, the one that I have on hand, which is sea moss, a.k.a. Irish moss, um, okay. contains 92 of 92 vitamins and minerals. Our bodies oh. are composed of 102, but our everyday diets don't allow us to, you know, keep those vitamins and nutrition in. So, so wait a minute. Let me ask you. So, if I have a multivitamin that I use from a local pharmacy, right, and it's, it's multivitamin for women plus iron is what it, what it generally says, would this, is that the equivalent to CMOS or is it less than? Is it deficient or do, would I need um, even more supplements if I didn't use CMOS? Or no, should I just scrap all that stuff and just get it? Pretty much. Okay. Um, yep. Scrap it and get the CMOS. And mm -hmm. it being natural, because most of those products that are in stores are cut with chemicals and plastic. So you're not getting like 100% what you need. This is all natural. There's no plastic. There's no chemicals. This is what God has blessed us with, um, mm. which okay. contains. Like I said, it contains 92 of 102 trace vitamins and minerals our bodies are already composed of. But again, our diets don't balance that out. Where it's, the average American diet doesn't balance that out. So, and how could not? we? Like, what would, what would that exactly? I'm just thinking, like, uh, <laughs> you know, they used to show this commercial, and I'm kind of showing my age, where um, it would be like frosted mini wheat. Compared to how many bowls of cereal you it would equate to to get your fiber or something along that line, like this is how many bowls you need for fiber, and then it'd be like ten bowls to like one bowl of that brand. Is it, it's essentially is that what CMOS is doing? Is it just completely replacing the medicine cabinet with all those supplements, and you're just getting it right there in that one gel that you provide? Um, pretty much. It's um. Okay. What I call, what I love to call it, um, a super vitamin. Um, because a super vitamin. Okay. A super vitamin. Uh, yes. I like it has that. minerals as of potassium, magnesium, mm -hmm. sulfur, calcium, iron, phosphate, iodine, mm -hmm. um, all of your vitamins like A, B, C, D, E, and K. It helps regulate your digestive system while detoxifying your body, supports healthy mm -hmm. heart. It has so many great benefits. Like I could go on and on and on about all the incredible benefits that this one product has. Where can you use it? Like, is it just for eating? Um, do I put it in a smoothie? Do I throw it on a salad? Do I put it on my face? Do I take it without a spoon? All of the above? Um, <laughs> Uh, pretty much all of the above. You can either eat really? it off raw, dry, okay. in the smoothie. You can put it on your face as a topical um, 
you know, like a mask. A topical, like a mask. Um, people with okay. eczema use it. Um, it clears it up in about four weeks or so. Um, really? You use it daily, yes. Um, okay. Ingesting it or just placing it topically? Placing it like, topically. Like, should we? In- okay, so you don't even have to ingest it and you'll still get you the benefits. Yeah, you know, oh, wow. Wow. As well as people use it for their hair, uh, you can use it as in your conditioner and shampoo. Um, mm. So it has so many great benefits. I tell people inside and out, it's pretty much a one-stop shop on on the beauty list. I would say. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I think we should just start having facial parties. What you think? I think so. <laughs> I think that'd be. A- a great idea. How many ways to use sea moss? Okay, you can keep that. That's a jewel for you. Um, <laughs> can we switch over? Let's switch over to the business point. You said you you received this epiphany, so to speak, and you were and you followed this path, and it led you to a place um, of satisfaction. That doesn't normally happen for the average person. Most people, they they might get an idea and they attempt, and discouragement kicks in. And most times, schedule, life, whatever it may be, we give up or we defer it or we we slow down and we procrastinate. What propelled you into this business and how was you able to overcome most of the common issues, new people, new business owners, new small business owners, the sole proprietors? How, How would you advise them on not giving up? Well, that's the key word right there, don't give up and and at one point there's going to be some failures but at least you tried you know what I mean so the journey definitely isn't easy and you definitely step out on faith especially when you do start your own business and then that being your sole income when you just cut ties of everything and say I'm putting all of my all into this okay great advice great advice people with if you are just tuning in, we are online with Crown Moss owner, Kaya Braxton. She is giving us the benefits and the low down of being an entrepreneur, starting her business of being a CMOS distributor. And we have Batman that wants to ask some industry questions because he always wants to get into the business side of things, even more than I dive into it. Because you know what, Miss Kaya, I like to divulge into these little conversations about womanhood and strength and power. So I like to start off by saying, you go, girl. I am so happy for you. Okay. All right. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Those of you that do not know, Kaya is a Baltimore native. She is my good friend. We grew up together. And she is just, it's wonderful when you can just sit back and just say, go, girl. Do your thing, girl. Girl, I'm cheering for you over here, girl. You encourage me, girl. If you haven't received an encouraging friend in your life at this point just yet, people, dig a little deeper. And you don't have to be up under people all the time. Oh, how do you feel about that, Miss Kaya? Let's let's start right there. That's when it comes to being a <laughs> when it comes you to are, being a female boss. Cheerleaders, I will say that. <laughs> <laughs> you, are, you are a great spokesperson, and I appreciate that. I you appreciate that. Oh, that's anybody that knows me. You get you get the uh plug. You you get <laughs> yeah, the right, Sure. <laughs> I'm one of the best, y'all. Book me. <laughs> today. <laughs> when I feel better. Right, right, right. When I feel better today too. <laughs> but you know, not to give up is in your life. I really do. Uh, I, I really do. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put the hot tidies to the side. I mean, I didn't just say that. And, <laughs> and I'm going to get me some sea moss, which is a much healthier approach. Yeah, yes. I think it's time for me to go ahead and put an order in. I've uh, used the, her product before, ladies and gents. Um, it has a very long shelf life is what I, I noticed. I know you have an expiration date on there, but how long could somebody stretch this out for? What would you say approximately? I, I tell people four weeks. I make them fresh mm-hmm. daily. Um, mm-hmm. So as soon as they get it, as soon as they pop that lid, it's the four-week shelf life. Okay. 
Um, if a person is to place an order, um, do you make the sea moss to order or is there like some type of surplus or how long is it sitting in your um in your 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 factory, your warehouse? How long is it in that designated space before it reaches a customer? Less than twenty four hours, I can't even lie. When I make oh, it wow. they it doesn't I make them in small batches so I can kinda of control it, but it really doesn't last twenty four hours when I'm when I make it. Oh, I make it and, they, and it and it flies off the shelf is I guess the best way to say. Business is good. Blessing. Business is good. Okay, okay. For those of you just starting off in business, this is not normal. <laughs> this is amazing. Okay, it's amazing. But just in case the IRS is lenient, <laughs> you get a few years to try to try at it to perfect your craft. And I'm just so grateful that this is the beginning for you. So mm-hmm. sky's the limit for what Crown Moss has. Uh, Batman wants to chime in. Can you ask us, ask what questions do you have for Ms. Kaya, Batman? All right. What's going on, Ms. Braxton? How you feeling? Good. How are you? Awesome. Awesome. And thank you so much for joining us. And, and we'd like to have you come back, you know, from time to time and, and share some testimonies. And, and of course, you, you can share some um, before we end the show. OK, but my question is, I actually did a little bit of research on CMOS. I don't know how it popped up. I think I was watching The Breakfast Club and I think Dr. Seably, Seably's, um children were on there. And I think they up in New York. No, down in Atlanta now. Yeah. yeah. And they um marketed in their store. And I couldn't for some reason, I just couldn't get a hold of their website for some reason. I'm not sure if it was down or what. But then I found out that I had a co-worker that, that was actually uh, familiar with it, and he actually was, was a distributor. But I did place a order. I just never got it from him. But anyway, um, oh, at the wow, t- that's unfortunate. <laughs> I know. Could have hit me up. <laughs> I know. No but now we know you. But I was, I was telling Kelly before the <laughs> show got started that it was a point where um, during the holiday, I just got really, really drained. Um, my energy level, had, you know, because I'm diabetic, and and you know we got what well, we got to stay in that mid level range to feel really good, and and I'm actually out of that okay. danger zone. I'm actually in the normal. I'm actually normal, really. Um, okay. But I, I, I have a very strict diet, and I and I do a lot of exercising, a lot of moving around. So researching, just learning a little bit more about how the endocrine system work and find out that a lot of doctors really don't know that much about it like we think, especially when we go to our general practitioners. Um, they really don't know our bodies that well. And I've been noticing that whatever doctor I do have, they go to the Internet <laughs> like we do. I'm like, okay, you just did what I did. You know, so, Dr. yeah, doc, right. So it's Dr. like, Google. <laughs> right. So it's like, and then I'm finding out because they are, they are, they are, they are so locked down in their offices, you know, you know, seeing patients all day. And you're talking about years of them being away from school. You're wondering, wow, how much do they know about the nutritional side of the wellness side? of it all you know so i started doing a lot of digging finding out that there are not that many endocrinologists in the country period it's only like five thousand because it's a real hard um medical uh degree it's real tough i think they stay longer than the normal doctors so for those who don't understand the endocrine system that's when everything locks in together that's your all your major organs liver pancreas your heart your brain and now they're starting to connect mm. everything with your with your gut, saying that's your second brain. So right. now going to going to YouTube a little closer because you know, I'm really big into TEDx and then after listening to some of these practitioners mm-hmm. on TEDx that are like experts and then going to then I visit a lot of conferences that's that's been posted on YouTube and you're finding out that there's a lot of new data, but a lot of our doctors are not connected like that because they're too tired to go home and do some of the things that we do on the Internet when we get home. So with all that said, they're starting to tell people that you, you're your best advocate, you know, 
So then finding out about these superfoods, like you just mentioned, these super vitamins, I'm finding out now, from, yeah. you know, I didn't dig into sea moss as deeply as I wanted to since I didn't get a chance to try it because I I was watching the process of it, too. And, and some of the things, the benefits for men, that was what I mainly was concerned about. Um, I found out that bee pollen uh, kind of had some of the same qualities as sea moss, you know, super all the minerals because of the bees you know, it's all natural and um so that's where i'm at now it's like finding that 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 super vitamin not that stuff that's sitting on the shelf <laughs> you know that's with the fillers mm-hmm. you know so when you when you went into sea moss did, did you stop there with your research or that's just that's just your thing right there sea moss CMOS is kind of my thing. I do want to um, get more into herbs mm-hmm. as well because herbs is a way of healing. Um, different herbs for different ailments. Mm-hmm. So I think that would be beneficial once I, yeah. I study more on that. But CMOS is just, you know, my yeah. field right now. That's my lane. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so so when I looked on your website... <laughs> Um, it showed that you had another product too. It, it's called the uh, bladder rack, or how do you pronounce that? Oh, the bladder rack with the bulldog root. So that's my powerhouse. Right. Thing. That's a powerhouse. Okay. Which gives you your complete 102. Oh. And I, yeah, so it gives you a complete 102. Um, bladder rack is a seaweed as well. And the bulldog root is actually a root vegetable. Oh, wow. Hmm. And they both have. So, this- you, and you're hearing a lot about that. that yeah. You hear that there's some of the, the herbs that are in the ground have more of the, the substance that we need for our body, the minerals. Right. Yeah, right. the metals. A more plant-based diet and more natural, I mean, a more raw mm-hmm. diet would mm-hmm. definitely have the nutritional value that we need for our body. Right. Now, I was listening right. to I, you. I agree. I was listening to you talk to Kelly, but I was kind of missing some of it. Now, what are some of the um, the uh, benefits of sea moss when it comes to healing the body? Because, like, we tried to get a little bit into inflammation last night. We was talking to the young lady who's who's actually uh, she's kind of a specialist when it comes to teaching people how to make their heart strong and to look for signals of distress. Um, what are some of the benefits that, of sea moss that can help a person whose who body is already kind of messed up and they need to be, uh, you know? Need a tune up. You said need a tune up. <laughs> yeah. Well, as well as um, you were saying earlier, it does increase um, your energy levels. It also promotes a healthy digestive regularity, mm-hmm. as well as uh, thyroid function. It boosts your mm-hmm. immune system, Kelly, because <laughs> you say <sit laughs> as far as the Thank you. Season. Yes, um, I will put an order in. And as well as improving um, circulation, improving metabolism, uh, promotes healthy libido, uh, mm-hmm. regulates <laughs> menstrual cycles, controls <laughs> uh, cholesterol levels, great for skin, hair, and nails. Uh, These are some adult uh, uh, benefits here, and I can truly appreciate all of yeah, them. Yeah, it mentioned, I think <laughs> menopause was kind of there too, wasn't it? Like it helped women with menopause issues too? <laughs> You just had I to go there, huh? You just had to go there. You feel that shade, that little bit of shade from Batman? Uh, I, I was. I, 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 I was researching the deep. Okay. <laughs> I was looking at sea moss pretty deep. Now, no, now, this is Batman. Yeah, I was it looking. Is, look, it is great for healthy bones. Yeah, so right. Uh, Calcium deficiencies. Great for uh-huh. for workout recovery um mm. it reduces inflammation okay. a lot of people don't know that it's a natural pain reliever right um it suppresses appetite it um is great in aiding and weight loss again i'm going to plug that in when i did my fast for even though i didn't make it to seven days i made it to six i lost nine pounds <laughs> wow um okay yeah i didn't make it i didn't make it um <laughs> six is still good okay let's not that's I did, not I did good. forget I did, about I the progress. I didn't, I didn't want to lose it anymore. <laughs> so are right. you using it? So, I so, cut, so I cut it a day, day short. So for so, people okay. that's in a that's working out, 
So you so you recommend exercise and proper diet when you're using the CMOS because you mentioned that it helps with recovery. So I'm taking that for somebody who's lifting weights, doing a lot of cardio. Yeah, someone's lifting weights. Um, I, I believe everyone should have some type of, of um, exercise in their daily routine, whether it's walking on a daily basis. They don't have to go, like, hard in the gym, but it does help with that. Mm-hmm. Exercise, I, I think, is great for mental health as oh, yeah. well as CMOS is great in uh, brain healthy, heart healthy. Yeah. So it's just, just having that balance, that healthy lifestyle also helps. So how is it? How, so how, how, how do much we, of it? Yeah. yeah. How do we receive it? Like, serious. How much of it do you put in a drink or, yeah. yeah. So what's, what's the, the quantity? The consumption amount, the recommended consumption amount. Yeah. Uh huh. Recommended, I tell people two teaspoons. Hmm. Per serving, oh. um, and it doesn't the, matter with the regular CMOS. So even with a person that's heavier, eat the whole jar. So even for a person that's heavier, like so you know, person, eighty pounds versus a person weighing two thirty, they would still use two teaspoons. Yeah, oh, it wow. still give you the same health benefit. You can take as little as that, or you can eat the whole entire jar. It will not harm you. Oh wow! Oh okay. So is it how the, what's the form? Is it coming in a powder? Is it a gel? What does it look like when we receive it from you? So I, yeah. I gel it. I put it in gel form so it's easier for people to melt it down in like their hot mm-hmm. teas or coffee in the morning. They can put it into their oatmeal or any hot cereals. Um, or you can go hard and just eat the gel by itself and drink it with water behind it. Some people put it in their water. Mm. Um, I prefer with lemon. So it's tasteless. So it's tasteless. It's um, I, yeah, it is tasteless. Wow. What about the bladder rack? The uh, no, the bladder rack definitely has a taste to it because of the bladder rack and the Bodak root, but it's not as bad as people think. I think people okay. just have to overcome what it looks like. I mm. think it's a mental issue. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's not it looks like, like cinnamon <laughs> applesauce like, I think, to me. You know, it's mine over matter. You look at it, you'd be like, it, "I can't, I can't." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mix it with your oatmeal or something. And cinnamon, put some cinnamon um, on top. I will admit, my uh, the jar that I did purchase from her, uh, I think it was was it like sixteen ounces or how big was it? Yeah, it's a sixteen ounce jar. Right, and so I would like smear it on some toast, or I would just take a nice tablespoon big hefty lunch lady scoop and just plop some on my salad and just kind of mix it in with everything um it kind of got lost in with the vegetables you know i know i i ate it all but i didn't have like a, a distinctive taste is what i'm trying to say so i really much enjoyed it i didn't get a chance to put it in any of the smoothies i was just kind of eating it in its raw state but uh now you're saying i could put it on some little eczema patches i might have on my leg or something and it'll clear me up i'm Definitely uh, curious to to watch that all come to life and give me some nice smooth skin. I swear I got some allergy skin. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that sounds like your immune system kind of kind of messed up right now. Which you have a cold. You sound yeah, kind of stuffy. Yeah, I took one for the kids. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if I'm the only weird parent that does this, but when my children get sick, I get all up in their face like, "Give me the sickness, I want it." It's so funny. <laughs> You're supposed to and hug so him. Here I am. You're supposed to just hug him and give him your energy. <laughs> You're not supposed to take the cold. Hug me. Yeah, you're doing it wrong. Oh, okay. No, yeah. I'm looking for transference. No, you're supposed to hug it. You yeah. get better. I'll deal with that. <laughs> so. no, just, hug, just give him a good hug. Yeah, too much. Yeah, I, give I him a hug. I hard on my kids, Batman. Yeah. Hard. Yeah, just you hug him. This is a funnier joke if you were watching me. You should see the hand moving. Anyway, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, Miss Kaya. <laughs> yes, yeah, man. Um, can you let the people know how they can reach you <laughs> yes um, you can reach me on IG at Crown Moss with a K R-O-W-N-M-O-S-S that's my IG or you can okay. visit the website which is again K-R-O-W-N M-O-S-S dot com Crown Moss dot com okay and so just keep in mind every Everyone, if you're just tuning in, you can get a fresh batch of crown moss, of yeah. sea moss. Um, right? She says she 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 makes it to order. 
That's um, right. I'm gotta, looking forward to it. Yeah, we gotta have, have her here. So, get some? Yeah, we gotta have her over here so she can do a demonstration and you know put on TV and everything. You know, on my late show. Yeah, I think yeah. it's time. That's right. Mm-hmm, I, that's I got a brand time. new set. Yeah, I, I got a brand new TV set. I want to show off. So I have one more thing. I can't wait. Yeah, I got one more thing for 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 Kai, Miss Braxton. <laughs> um, Miss Braxton, like, okay, now you now that you you know you hardcore into CMOS and you know teaching people how to take care of themselves. Do you find yourself wanting more and more information on what's going wrong with people? Because one of the things I've noticed, because I work with a lot of people, and I'm noticing that that people are, are moving into diseases. It's like, it's not, they weren't born with it. It's like you find people getting MS on, 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 a, on large, large numbers, uh, diabetes, mm-hmm. um, arthritis, aspirosis, you know, um, mental uh, brain um, loss. I mean, memory loss. It's like this stuff is starting to hit these people when they hit like 45, 50. And, and you look at some of these people, they look really good when you see them. It's just that they're, they, they, they're just not feeling well. And they're not getting any better, you know, even going to the doctor. And that was one of the things that when I was looking up fasting and, you know, before you answer the question, when I was looking up fasting, I started getting a lot of information about intermediate fasting. Um, when people, they say, okay, eat for five hours and don't eat no more. You know, that's it. I don't understand that one. Yeah. I, I do not understand that yeah, one. The intermittent fasting? Yeah, intermediate, the, right. Oh intermediate God. fast. That's what's called. Uh, your body. So it's like, okay, I'm going to eat from this time to this time, but from this time to this time, I'm not going to eat. Yeah, water only. Right. And then I'm going to eat from yep, so teas. water only. Yeah, herbs, okay, water. I it was just nothing. That's it. Yeah, you got to drink. You got because your body Herbie. dehydrates, you know, constantly. Your body releasing yeah. heat, so you don't want to starve it from, you know, from liquids. So, so what I was saying. So, have you noticed, you know, people coming to you? You know, they they were athletic at one time, maybe, and you know, then a little older got kids, and they still running around after the grandkids, so they can't do some of the active things. <laughs> Um, I mean, do you find yourself wanting more information on like how can you help these people? Because that's what I was finding out when I was looking up fasting, and these doctors said they were starting to feel really guilty about that they weren't helping their patients. All they was doing was like putting a band aid on their problems. Like the medicine wasn't With healing the them, right? It wasn't uh, really the healing them. Only, uh, even I'm not a physician, right? Uh, let's just be clear. But uh, a lot of, and this is just my opinion. A lot of our physicians give us things that will heal one thing and and hinder or hurt something else. Right. So right. what doctors back in the day used to do was to help heal you mm-hmm. of anything that you had, that ailment. Uh-huh. Mm. That's what they were to do. So mm. I don't know where we just kind of got away from that. Yeah, what went wrong? Money. money. I think the money part came in. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm big pharma. Yeah, you know. Um, yeah, big pharma. Big pharma. Yeah, so much money mm-hmm. in in well, people you know. being unhealthy. I mean, I I would think it's it should be the same. You know, keeping. I think people spend money to stay healthy more so than wanting to spend it while they're sick. You know. They try, but. Yeah. We don't know nothing else but to get the vitamin. A lot of people don't realize that. It is definitely what you eat. Yeah, it is. Because all the food. A lot of those ailments, a lot of those problems can Mm. be reversed just by what you eat, which you put in your body. Yep. And that's what she said last night. Inside out. Yeah, sodium is really our problem because she said sodium is in everything, you know, because they, they keep the food looking good. You know, they put so much (laughs) sodium in it. So when you eat a lot of it, you know. and stuff that add flavor to the food that you don't need to use sodium if you have a good flavor profile with the herbs that we have. See, yeah. But see, you got the herbs. And the you have an advantage. Because she a chef. I know my <laughs> culinary background. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That's right. Sweeten the food up with, with uh, and veggies. And those things have healing properties as well, like the turmeric and the ginger. Mm-hmm. So, Correct. Brain power, right? Yeah. Heart power. Sentiment. Right. You hear about the uh, Indian culture. They don't. They don't have dementia and those type of memory type of 
Alzheimer's disease because of the turmeric. They right? do. They do here under Western yeah. culture. <laughs> they live in Western culture now. <laughs> they, they do. They have the same problems we have yeah. now. You see some of these overweight kids now that they're having. They didn't have that problem before. That's, it is becoming normal. Right, yeah. right. It's the, That's becoming a norm in America, but it's not normal at all. The meat is injected from Big Pharma, and then they're fed on these strict diets, and, and we're giving that to eat. And the market is always something. The antibiotics. Injected in it. Yeah. The, the, you have to buy food that says flat out, no, 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 I I didn't touch it in, in a malicious GMO way. Yeah, grass basically. feed. Yeah, grass you know, fed cows. Yeah, and, and chicken. Right, then they slap an extra 20 bucks on it, yeah. you know, just because they, they just raised you it. you don't have the GMOs <laughs> and it's working. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Process it. <laughs> yeah, and all the other stuff to it. So we're going to charge you more for the less stuff that we did to it. There you go. <laughs> yeah, because it's going to cost them more money to get I'm some to decent grain, you know, some good grain. But you know what my doctor told me, my endocrinologist, and he was straight up about this. He said, he said, Jerry, he said, he said too much of anything is bad for you. He said people just right. don't know how to do things in, in small quantity. He said, you know, um, you like cake. You don't have to eat the half the cake. Or the whole cake, just eat a little piece, just get a taste. You know, he told me it's okay for me to have, you know, chocolate that's not 90%, because that stuff is nasty. <laughs> you know, I tried it. But I'm sitting there, <laughs> I'm sitting there trying, to, I'm trying to eat the whole the whole candy bar. He said, no, just take a little piece, you know, save the rest of it for the, for, for the next day. You know, so I learned how to cut things in half, in quarters. And then he said, and that can help you with your gut, you know, because that's where a lot of our problems are is in our gut. So, in the gut. Yep. So eat a little bit of. You don't have to eat the whole hamburger. Just eat the half the hamburger. When I go to Red Robin, I said, "Well, I can't believe I used to eat this." Yeah, I used to eat this whole burger and all, and keep eating fries. You, remember, they got the um, unlimited, the unlimited fr- fries. Right. <laughs> yeah, you like getting two orders of fries, all that white potato. That's like that's that's a bad thing right there, you know. So and, and then you might have an adult beverage. Yeah, with all that bread. sugar, you have all that yeah, sugar loaded in there. And, <laughs> yes, and already Carbo, that, that, that yep, the, that. the carbs was yeah. like off the off the chain and your sugar intake. So right there, you you probably waiting to have a heart attack so you walk out of rear robin. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you I have think to if you get off the parking yeah, lot. They're not liable. <laughs> yeah, they said they're not liable. Right, <laughs> they're not liable <laughs> once you pay pay that check. <laughs> Well, she placed that order. That's it. All right. Well, Miss Braxton, we really appreciate you being here and giving us all this great advice. And this is something that Positive Power want to want to do. Yeah, this is what we want to do now. Um, Sheree got it started last night, and and even we have Miss Turner too. We actually have Miss Jean Turner. She she's actually a miracle woman. This woman actually was in a coma this past summer. We didn't think she was going to really? make it. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, she was in a coma because she was at, she was actually um uh, being treated for um for cancer, and she had just finished her last round of chemo, and she had ran into some problems okay. with her heart, had stopped beating. So, but she's back, and Ooh. she's she's our health coach. She's actually a health coach herself. Is a, a life, uh, I think she's a practitioner, a nurse practitioner. So she actually joins us on Tuesday on Inspirational Treasure. On um and I actually got a chance to meet her too, Kelly. Um, when I was in Atlanta, she came to um uh, my journey with Paula G on the set. So it was really? so awesome. Yeah, and this and this and we didn't think she was gonna make it. She had actually had you know to, to paid her fees like way early. You know, cause you know how we start everything early, and then we we, we right. you know of course everything happened to her like through August and and we had the show. I think the taping was in October, and and she made it through. I mean, she was in a coma for weeks. Weeks, Miss Brax, we didn't Thanks think. Yeah, you know, we kept in prayer. Showed up, the yep. work. She was there. Amen. Yep. Look good too. Look real good. Amen. So, so that's our coach. She's our coach on Tuesday. So, um, we so we're gonna do a little more of that for positive power to keep everybody, um, you know, encouraged and um, stay on the stay on the stay on the wagon. Don't get off the wagon, y'all. Okay. All right, yeah, Kelly. Twenty. That's our year. That's right. So, all right, Kelly. You wanna close this out? Oh, don't mind. Sure, sure, sure. I like to close out with a prayer and I'll go into it. Heavenly Father, I thank you for bringing us here on one accord. I thank you for the blessing that you bestowed on us. Lord, allow us to do your work. I ask that the listeners be still. I ask that the listeners act on. I ask that the listeners be blessed. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for all that you are to us. In Jesus' name. 
Amen. Amen. Amen, Ms. Kaya. Amen, Batman. Thank you for joining us. Please come back. We can't wait to have you on set. The new set, Batman, can't wait to get the tapings going. I think we're starting up after the Super Bowl, right? Yep. Oops. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I know my button, my fingers slipped on the button. Okay, okay. All right, we appreciate well, you. Well, thank you, everyone, for listening in. This has been Positive Power, Double XI, Batman, and Kelly Holland. Have a good night, Baltimore. You're listening to Jerry Wilson Worldwide Podcast. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power of Double XI. Positive Power. Worldwide Podcast. All right, family, don't forget, don't forget, tune in every Monday starting at 8 o'clock with Reed and 9 o'clock with Lakeisha Mosey and 10 o'clock with Shay. That's right, the Monday Night Triple Podcast. Join us in Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. That's right, all our podcasts start around 8, 8.30. So we love to have you. Please share the file. You can catch our on-demand programming on Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, and CastBox, and Google Play. Don't forget also you can join us on Thursdays. That's right, on Decab25.com. That's right, you can catch us starting at 10 o'clock, starting the show off with The Red Room with Shay. Then you got My Journey of Paula G, and you got The Lakeisha Mosey Show. All the money from uh, being starting at 10 o'clock on the cat25.com. If you live in Georgia, you can catch it on Channel 25 around Atlanta area, airing on Comcast. All right, y'all. And um, we'll let you know about the other shows. we got MVP with Sky. we got Late Night with Jarvis Live, airing on Wednesdays at 11 to 12. we got Tuesday with MVP starting at 30. And we got, uh, I think that's pretty much it. All right, we appreciate you guys. Take care, and we got more programming left for you tonight. Have a good one. Peace out. Hey, 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 my name is Davis, and I'm from Haiti, but I'm living in Dominican Republic. I'm here, Positive Power 21. Jerry Walsh Live, worldwide.